Hello everyone and welcome back to NeuroPsyQ, where today I'm very excited to welcome you all back to the third video of our channel's new NeuroPsyQ Meets Pharaoh crossover series. In this video, we will take a step back from the content we covered during the first two videos of this series and learn how to find free pathology slides online you can upload to the Pharaoh site for analysis. In case you missed the first two videos when they were released in the last few weeks, the first video of this series covered how to upload slides to an existing classifier on the Pharaoh site for analysis and the second video covered how to upload slides to develop a new classifier on the Faro site. If you haven't yet watched these videos and are interested in either uploading your slides to an existing Faro classifier for analysis, or uploading your slides to develop a new Faro classifier, then I would highly recommend watching these two videos after this one, so that once you learn how to obtain pathology slides from this video, you will then learn how to upload them to the Faro site for analysis. However, if you've already watched these videos, then you're in the right place, because this video will show you how to obtain the slides you will need in order to upload to the Faro site, either to an existing classifier or to develop a new classifier. Even if you already have access to pathology slides yourself, it is worth watching this tutorial to learn a much easier way to obtain slides to upload to Faro in the future that will avoid the tedious scanning process and allow you to find, download, and upload slides to Faro in a matter of minutes. So with that being said, let's jump right in and actually learn the steps this greatly simplified way of obtaining free pathology slides online through two publicly available slide databases, eBrains and TCGA. So to find the eBrains database, you're going to simply type eBrains.eu with no spaces as it's, displayed, as it's displayed on the screen here into the search bar of your preferred internet browser. Once you've reached the eBrains homepage, click the sign in button that will appear in either upper right corner of your screen. If you don't have an eBrains account, which I assume is the case for most of you watching this video, then just click the green word register, which is underlined just slightly right of the center of your screen. Once you click this button, click the black create account button that will appear in the middle of your screen and you'll be redirected to a registration page that will ask you to fill in some of your personal information in order to create an account with the eBrains organization. Unfortunately, there's no guest registration option available for this website, so you'll have to create an account in order to obtain the free pathology slides. It's important to note that eBrains only accepts emails associated with a recognized university or institution, so it's best to use your work email or, if you're a student, your school email. After registering, you will receive a registration confirmation email to the account associated with the email address you listed in the registration field. Click on the link in this confirmation email to be redirected to a sign-in page on the eBrains website, where you can enter your new login credentials in order to enter the site. Once you have logged in, you will find yourself on the main eBrains landing page, from where you should click the Infrastructure button located at the top of your screen. Next, click the green button that says Find Data, Models, and Software, in order to be redirected to a page containing the hundreds of datasets offered through eBrains. From here, type into the white search bar at the top of your screen the words Digital Brain Tumor Atlas and click Search. The first result that appears should read the Digital Brain Tumor Atlas, an open histopathology resource. Simply click on the title of this search result to proceed. Once you've selected this search result, click on the heading that says Get Data, located two headings below the Overview heading that is automatically selected, and then click the blue link that says Request Access. Confirm your request to this data by clicking the green button request, request access that will appear on your screen. You should then receive an email to the account associated with the address you used to register for eBrains. Simply find the blue word link and click it to be redirected to the page containing all of the files in the Digital Brain Tumor Atlas. After clicking this link, double click on the folder labeled V1.0 in order to view all of the folders in the atlas organized by tumor type alphabetically. Double click once again on the folder you were interested in downloading slides from, and from there you can choose to download any file on the folder by double clicking on it. For the purposes of this video, we will just click on the folder labeled Anaplastic Astrocytoma to view the slides available to us for download. Now if I double click on any one of these files, it will automatically be sent to the downloads folder on my computer, and I will then be able to open it with a slide viewing software. Now, in order to download slides from the Cancer Gen Genome Atlas, or TCGA for short, begin by simply typing the words portal.gdc.cancer.gov into your preferred web browser and clicking Enter, which should take you to this landing page for the portal. Click on the blue button labeled Repository close to the center of your screen. Choose Slide Image from the drop-down menu on the left side of your screen that has the title Data Type. Choose Diagnostic Slide from the drop-down menu on the left side of your screen that has the title Experimental Strategy. 
Use the colorful wheel with the title Primary Site under the File tab to select a specific region of the body for which you would like to view pathology slides. Or, if you already know the name of the TCGA project you would like to view slides for, you can select your project of interest from the colorful wheel to the immediate right of the Primary Site wheel, under the title Project. For the purposes of this video, we will click on the blue wedge of the Primary Site wheel, labeled Brain, to view the complete group of pathology slides associated with this region of the body. After choosing the primary site or project you are interested in selecting slides from, simply click on the case ID of a slide you are interested in, which is the series of letters, numbers, and dashes ending in the .svs extension in order to view this slide. If you are still interested in downloading this slide, after viewing it in the slide image viewer at the bottom of your page, simply click the blue Add to Cart button located in the upper right corner of your screen. At this point, you can choose to add any additional slides you would like to download to your cart by repeating this process as many times as you choose. And once you are satisfied with all of the slides in your cart, simply click on the cart button in the upper right corner of your screen, and then click on the blue button download on the right side of your screen to upload a, to open a small drop down menu from which you will select the first option that reads manifest. Doing this will send a file to the downloads folder on your computer that begins with the words GDC underscore manifest and has a series of numbers ending in a .txt extension. In order to download the slides you placed in your cart via this manifest file, you must first download the GDC data transfer tool, which you can find the download link to by clicking the blue link that reads GDC data transfer tool found under the download manifest header on the right side of your screen when you are viewing your cart. Once you have reached this web page, scroll directly to the bottom of the page to the table found underneath the heading that reads Binary Distributions. From this table, click the link to the zip file for the version of the data tool that is aligned with the system you are running on your current computer from the left column with the column heading that reads GDC Data Transfer Tool Client. So now you have the manifest file containing the names of all of the TCGA slides you added to your cart and you have the GDC Data Transfer Tool for downloading this manifest, both stored on your computer in your downloads folder. In order to keep the downloads process as simple as possible, I would recommend finding both files in your downloads folder and moving these to a folder of their own on your desktop as an example, where they can easily be accessed. For the purposes of this video, I will just name this folder tcga underscore svs. Next, you will open whatever application you use on your computer to run command line apps. Since I am using a Mac computer, I will open the terminal app. Once you've opened the terminal app or its equivalent application, you will begin by typing in the letters CD followed by the file directory for the folder where you've stored the manifest file and GDC data transfer tool. You will then click enter to initiate this command. Finally, you will type in dot slash followed by the words GDC dash client download dash M. After typing dash M, you will then add another space and then either manually type out the name of the manifest file or simply copy it from the folder where it is stored, including the .txt ending. Then click enter once more. At this point, you should see all of the slides you added to your cart and stored in this manifest file begin to download in the terminal app. And if you don't see any indication of this process happening within the next few seconds, you should re-download the manifest file and repeat this process once again. Once the files have been downloaded, a message reading successfully downloaded should appear in green text in front of the number of the files that were downloaded from the manifest file. For the purposes of this video, I only downloaded one slide from TCGA, so you can see that the number one is shown here. You can now open the SVS files for each of the slides you downloaded from TCGA by simply opening the folder in which you placed the manifest file and GDC data transfer tool, and then opening the new folder that has appeared since you began downloading the slides through the terminal app or its equivalent. Once in this folder, you just have to open the SVS file you would like to see with an accepted slide viewing software, and then you can annotate and share this slide however you would like. So, I hope you now understand how to obtain pathology slides online from both the eBrains and TCGA databases to upload to the Faro site and encourage you all to now go ahead and try it out for yourselves. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see similar ones in the future, please like and subscribe to this channel and also be sure to hit the bell button to activate notifications so you never miss another video from us in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in our next exciting Faro tutorial, which will be releasing sometime in the near future, so be sure to stay tuned. Bye.